hey happy thanksgiving everybody or the day before so hey i put together this video for you guys um i ended up branding some turkeys uh three in total and um went over to pitmaster service house last night um to do one of them differently so uh i put this together so in case you guys were looking for a recipe out there for tomorrow well actually you got to brighten it a good 10 to 24 hours so um as soon as you see this you got to decide and what you're going to do and uh get that going you know you want that turkey to be as juicy as possible so without further ado i'll take you to the video and uh, see what happened last night what is up guys daddy rooster 88 coming at you with another video it's actually nighttime but uh i'm getting ready for thanksgiving so i'm gonna make some turkeys um i'm heading over to pit master Serta's house and we're gonna brine up a turkey to get it ready for smoking so uh i'm gonna be heading over there right now and uh i'll take you guys along and you see what we do uh prepping the turkey for uh for smoking on thanksgiving this thursday so it's actually Tuesday, so we're going to do uh, a whole full day of brining. So uh, we'll show you that process. We made it to Pitmaster Serta's house, and now we're going to start the brine process. And uh, first step is we threw some apple juice in the ice chest. So we're going to do multiple birds in here. So. Um, that's step one and uh, we'll get on to the next step here in a minute. So we got some uh, a brine kit right here. It's a Kinder's Butcher's brine and rub kit. We're gonna use some of that. We're gonna use two of those. We got some herbs over here. We got, what is this right here, sage? Oh, yeah, sage, thyme. And then that's, that's just the beginning. Uh, a lot of steps on this, so. Yeah, so we got um, two 13-pound birds and then a smaller one we're going to put in there. So we got to uh, clean out the inside, take all the inside organs and all that. We're not going to we'll probably use those for stuffing or something like that. Hey, now we're going to uh, some of the spice packages that were in the box. It's like salt, pepper, garlic, all that, huh? Some heavy spice that way, you know, soaks in the meat. Give it that salt flavor. There's the birds over there. Trimmed a little bit of fat off. Took out all the insides. And uh, ready to go. Start putting them in in a minute. Giving them a bath. Putting in the, the, the fresh, fresh thyme. Get that in there. Buttery poultry blend. And we're gonna get one more, uh, one more treetop apple juice just to cover the top. That way it's like, but then we're gonna put, put some water up in there. I think we're gonna put ice on at the very top. And then ice, but yeah, they're, they're in, but should be a little bit more. Put some lemon, uh, not lemon, oranges. Put a few oranges in there. We almost got it covered. Put that extra bottle of apple juice with a little bit of cherry. It's apple cherry on this last bottle. And then it's almost time for the ice and the water. We almost forgot the brown sugar, but we didn't. So that's, um, that's the important thing we didn't forget. So that, that'll dissolve over 24 hours, I'm sure. And then uh, going for that sweet, hot flavor this time. All right, we got the ice on. About to close this up for what? How many hours? Oh, 24 overnight. Yeah, we're thinking about the cook process. It's actually, yeah, 24 hours tomorrow. We'll pull it out and then we'll do another step on it. Okay, guys, well, that's it for step one. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Daddy Rooster 88.